no barking. What's okay? Come here. Come here. Come here. Hi YouTube. Today I'm going to show you our two little snakes thought you might find interesting. So take a look at our first snake now. So this was the first snake I ever got. It's a 23 year old corn snake. And uh, his name is Cornelius the corn snake. Out in this aquarium set up for the whole time. And he's been eating a mouse a week for the last three months, but prior to that, we really fed him seldom. It's a nice locking cage design with a bolt on top that unscrews. So we've only had two escapes in 23 years. Luckily, we found them both. But here's how these work. They just slide over under that ridge. So. He's uh, healthy, and he has uh, like cataracts in his eyes. The eye caps have been shedding fine. I got him at a, a herp show in Columbus in 1991 and he's been very easy even when he wasn't handled probably more than once every few months he's always remained nice the only time he's ever bit anyone is when they had mouse scent on their hands so I don't know how many 23 year old corn snakes there are in captivity but surely this is this is one, and as long as we never ran him out of water, he's always done well. We'll just put him back in his cage. Give him his hide. And I have an under tank heater that's been sufficient for him. I want to set that on your tail. Okay, so under here, there's an under tank heater, and that has been working for 20 years, and it keeps the cage right about uh, 78 to 80. And he eats frozen thawed mice. And he's never refused one. He's regurgitated one time in 23 years. And that was when I think we fed him two mice and we handled him too quickly afterward. So that's Corny the corn snake. And this is snake number two. We call him Pedro. It's a red-tailed boa, super hypo. We got him at the Cleveland Reptile Show about three or four months ago as a baby. And he's set up here in a 20-gallon long aquarium just until uh, he gets to be a bit bigger size, but this will keep him for a little while. And he's been fantastic, eating, shedding. And his tank is about 80 degrees in the middle. We have an under tank heater on this side. We have an infrared and day lamp, basking lamp up here from ZooMed. And that's been uh, a little bit hard to maintain the temperature because of the size of the tank. 
I, you get the wrong size bulb in there and it gets hot real quick. So right now I've got a wet washcloth sitting there. We've got a fairly large, for his size, water bowl more towards the heated side of the tank to try and keep the humidity up. He's going to go into his hide, which is where he spends most of his time on the warm side here. We handle them every day. I have a couple of kids, three kids, and they all uh, like the snakes. My wife likes the snakes, so after 23 years it was time to go out and get the snake that I really wanted when I first started. And that's the uh, red-tailed boa constrictor. So that's where he likes to spend time. And then I just recently added this uh, humid hide. Uh, I got some moss in there that's moist and a hole in the top. And he's really only gone in there when I've encouraged him to go in there. So let me take him out so you can see him. And the tank has four metal fold downs. We've had no escapes here. I've also got some cellophane on the top of the tank right now to control and improve humidity since he did not shed an eye cap in the last shed. And he's very gentle. We reach in and He's really good about being handled. And if you can see that eye cap, this is the one that he had some trouble with. But we're pretty confident it's going to come off in the next shed. So that's our very tiny snake collection. So thanks for watching and we'll uh, keep updates coming as they grow.